Welcome to the Databricks Skill Builder series. We're glad you're here. Hello all. My name is Jyotsam Bharadwaj and I am a solutions architect here at Databricks. Today I will be walking you through the Mosaic AI vector search. Before we talk about the vector search, let's discuss what are embeddings. So for most of the Gen AI applications, uh, as we all know, you need unstructured data, whether it is text, audio, images, etc. And embeddings are semantic representations of this data in a mathematically form, mathematical form that machine learning models can process. So now once you have embeddings, this is where a vector database comes into play. play. And Mosaic AI Vector Search provides you the capability to store vector representations or embeddings of your data plus metadata. It is tightly integrated with your Lakehouse and it's a serverless, scalable, low latency service with zero operational overhead. Because it integrates with Unity Catalog, it supports ACLs. It also provides you APIs for real-time similarity and hybrid search. And with all these features, it opens doors for multiple use cases of Gen AI, such as RAG, semantic search, recommendations, anomaly detection, etc. There are three ways in which you can use the vector search APIs. The first one is managed embeddings, in which case you provide a source delta table that contains data in text format and the platform calculates the embeddings using a model that you specify. And as the table is updated, the index is automatically kept up to date. The second one is self-managed embeddings in which you provide a source of delta table that contains pre-calculated embeddings. But as the delta table is updated, the index stays synced with the delta table automatically. The third one is direct access CRUD API, which gives you flexibility to manually update the index using the REST APIs when the pre-calculated embeddings table changes. With this short intro, I will take you to a quick demo of this functionality. So first things first, as you can see, I'm in a Databricks workspace in the compute section, and here I have vector search. So vector search endpoint is the compute which is needed for registering the vector indexes and using them. And how do you go about creating it? You just click on this create, give it a name, and that's how it is created. Each of these endpoints can have multiple indexes, as you can see over here. Next, let's see how do you go about creating an index. So for that, I would go to Unity Catalog and I have a Delta table over here, which has a number of columns and I want to generate embeddings of, let's say this content columns. So in order to do that, what I do is I click on create and vector search index. All I need to do is give it a name, select my primary key, the endpoint, which we just saw, the columns to sync. And after that, I can choose whether I want it to be managed embedding or self-managed embeddings. Depending upon that, I would choose the embedding source column and the embedding model. We give you flexibility of choosing an embedding model of your choice. Once you select all these parameters, you can decide whether you want the pipeline to be run in a triggered mode or a continuous mode. Once you have all these selections in place, all you need to do is click on create and it creates a vector index like this. As you can see over here, it has a pipeline uh, associated with it, which helps it helps keep the table and the index in sync. So this is the way to create the index and the endpoint using the user interface. You could also create it using APIs. So you have this create endpoint API using which you can create the end vector search endpoint. You can also create the indexes using the API using the create delta sync index API. You provide it various parameters such as endpoint name, the source table, primary key, etc. 
all the parameters which we filled on the user interface. Once you have your vector search index in place, you can easily do similarity search using the APIs. As you can see over here, we have the similarity search API, which returns the results as well as a similarity score over here. And then based on the similarity score, you can choose how you want to choose, how, how you want to use this data. So this was a short introduction to uh, vector search. Thank you so much.